There are some games I know I'm eventually going to have to cover. Some of them I'm really looking forward to. Others, not so much. This is One Piece Online 2, which by its very existence, proves that there's a higher being out there who has it in for me. If you remember, I played the original One Piece Online a few years back, and I was less than enthusiastic about it. So let's open up a browser and become king of the pirates. Again. Oh god, what have I done? Starting off, let's pick a character. You have four options. The Sailor, the Dark Mage, the Sniper, and the Doctor, who is a little girl with a shark. I have so many questions. Why does she have a shark? How is it still alive outside of water? Why are her specialties healing and poisoning? Is she even a real doctor? Who the f gave her a medical degree? And why does she have a shark? Oh, oh, of course, it's her weapon. She uses a fish as a weapon. Something tells me your medical advice might not be very sound. After that, the game begins. Now, remember in the original One Piece Online where I said the game basically played itself and all you had to do was click a few times? Well, that's not the case in One Piece Online 2. It's the exact opposite. You click all the time, but only in this tiny area. And in case you forget, the game will remind you at all times. You will occasionally have to click somewhere else, but don't worry, in case you forget, the game will remind you at all times. Ugh, they made this so idiot-proof, I'm pretty sure my five-year-old could tell me where to click. All right, so where should I click? You click right at that guy. Right there? Yeah, that guy and that guy. Now where do I click? You click the other little, that one. Okay. Where do I click? You click right at him. It's your hair. It's your him. Now where? Now right there. Now where? Now right there. Now that's finished. Now I need to try again. I'm going to push that one and two feet. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do this. Where would you click right now? I click right here. Good. Now where would you click? I click right at that one. Good. Now where? At the little, little boat. Okay. You go at the pirate and say, how are you doing, pirate? Could not script that better. Also, if that's not the definition of lowest common denominator, I don't know what is. So, click where the game tells you and you'll end up talking to numerous characters from the show. And believe it or not, the translation on this is actually decent for the first two minutes. Then it becomes gobbledygook. You want to challenge me, but you are not powerful enough. If so, you need to be at least as strong as Shanks. That doesn't make sense. Now I can go on adventure! What? Suddenly a strange noise is coming behind. I need to bleep that? Helmeppo hijacked Rika while no one noticed. <laughs> what just cracks me up? You'll be introduced to combat pretty early on. Surprise, surprise, it pretty much plays itself. The only part that doesn't are your special skills. Each of your characters has a skill to use, activated by hitting Q, W, E, R, or T. For these skills, you can either target a particular enemy or just let it attack randomly. Once you use it, it goes on cooldown. Other than that, combat plays itself. It totally sucks, except for one thing. Try as hard as you want, no amount of rock will make this fun. Surprisingly, there does appear to be a bit of strategy involved when placing your characters into formation. It seems you'll want to put your stronger characters in front of your weaker ones to protect them. Don't try and get all legit on me now, game. I'm not playing you to think. In fact, I'm barely playing you at all, but that's beyond the point. One Piece Online 2 also has gear, which is used to increase your battle power. You can also enhance your gear to increase its stats. Last but not least, you'll also need to level up your companions to make sure they don't get outleveled and become too weak. This this is about as game as the game gets. And even that's a bit of a stretch. You know what, I'm done. I'm still baffled that these type of games exist. There's a ton of better free-to-play browser games out there. Do fans of the anime just really dig this or something? Even with the bastardization of every word written on screen? I just don't get it! <sighs> At least Naruto fans don't have to go through- Oh, Mama.
And that was One Piece Online 2. This was obviously not my first choice of game to play this week. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button for future videos. I've also put another video for you to watch right up here. If you want, you can follow me on Twitter or Facebook for some random thoughts. And if you really want to help the channel, you can donate to me on Patreon like these other amazing people. With me, they can go on adventure too!